Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $99,633.96. In the past year I am up $23,942.97. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $7,529.21. Today was a very red day. I lost several thousand dollars. During the day, I was down $3,193.16. After hours, I am up $267.99. So overall, around $3,000 down today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $228. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $112. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $104. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $60. I have target diagonal spread. I bought the target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025. And I'm selling the target $140 call expiring August 30th of this year. My total return $250. I have Amazon $140, $130 with credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $16. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $18. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, $115. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $330. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,040. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $853. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $50. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return $1,101. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $170.38. My average cost $98.94. My total return $21,437.58. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.53. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $11,440.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $89.54. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $8,816. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $162.89. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,041. This is a margin account. My margin total is $86,419.30. 
My margin used is $61,719.94. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,699.36 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $25,194.99. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $11.05 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So yeah, overall about $3,000 down today, although I still am, you know, above 99,000. So at least uh, I didn't fall too hard and definitely not as hard as Nvidia today, which is what I want to talk about. So Nvidia reported earnings today and the weird thing is even though they reported Pretty good numbers. In fact, they beat expectations. Um, the stock still fell quite a bit. So today, let's see if we scroll down here. Earnings. So estimated was 64 cents per share. Actual was 68 cents per share. So they beat on, you know, estimated uh, EPS. There is an article here that I want to show you guys. NVIDIA stock slips after earnings, forecasts top estimates amid incredible demand for its next-gen chip. AI juggernaut NVIDIA reported second quarter earnings after the bell on Wednesday that beat expectations on the top and bottom line, while its forecasts for the current quarter also came in ahead of expectations. So as you can see, it's all good. Uh, you know, they beat expectations. And even the, you know, the forecast, I mean, everything was good, but I think it's because, because I read, um, you know, elsewhere on the internet that the expectations were so, so high that even though they beat, you know, expectations from like, uh, analyst estimates, I don't know, to be honest, uh, I think really people's expectations were even higher than uh, analyst, estimate, analyst estimates. Um, I don't know. It's hard to make sense of it because they actually reported pretty good numbers. Um, but the stock was down. When I checked this afternoon, I saw it down like 8% after hours. Pretty crazy drop. Um, considering that they reported good numbers. Alright, let's continue reading. NVIDIA reported adjusted earnings per share of 68, uh, 68 cents on revenue of $30 billion dollars. In its fiscal second quarter, analysts were expecting EPS of 64 cents and revenue of 28.8 billion. So it beat on, you know, EPS and it beat on revenue. That marks a 122% increase on the top line from a year ago. Wow. Earnings rose 168% from the same quarter last year. I mean, so that's a huge increase from the same time last year. Again, more good news coming out of this uh, NVIDIA earnings report. The company also provided third quarter revenue guidance of $32.5 billion plus or minus 2%. Analysts were looking for $31.9 billion. So even the third quarter revenue guidance was higher than what analysts were expecting also. So everything I'm reading so far has looked positive. Shares of the chip giant were down about 3.5% in after hours trading. Following the results, the stock fell as much as 6% in immediate reaction to the numbers. So as you can see, a bunch of you know good numbers, good news, but they ended up falling a bunch after hours. The bulk of that revenue came from NVIDIA's all-important data center business, which brought in $26.3 billion in the quarter versus Wall Street's expectations of 25 billion in revenue. That's a 154% increase from the same period last year when the segment brought in 10.3 billion. Yeah, I I don't think I need to read anymore. Um, but you guys get the idea. They beat on a whole bunch of different uh, you know areas, but the stock did not do well in after hours today. Now I don't own NVIDIA, but I do know that it's a pretty high profile stock right now. A lot of people are watching what happens with this. And yeah, it, uh, 
went down a lot after hours. As you can see, a pretty steep drop here. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. In terms of my positions in my portfolio, really nothing new to talk about. Um, a bunch of my positions expire on the 30th, which is, I guess, technically tomorrow since it just passed midnight. So right now it's the 29th. So Friday is when my Amazon, Disney, Google, and SoFi covered calls expire. And I think I'm just going to collect the premium from all of these. As well as getting rid of my target diagonal spread. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then after I have some money freed up, then I'll decide what I want to do next. But for now, this is pretty much all the updates I can give. Alright, thanks for watching. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these portfolio updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.